Can we get you the clip? Just not too many clips. Just one nice clip. Oh, no, 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 no. Just yeah. Okay. <laughs> Firstly, thank you very much for You're having welcome. us. So, how does this whole process work? All I know is that I'm a canvas, and that's all I know. Really. <laughs> So usually I'll get a, I'll get a little sense of what you're like, and then I'll get I'll have a look to what I think you might like to wear, and then I'll start styling. Might need to look at the size of the clothes. <laughs> <laughs> we're um, sure we're programmable here, so um, uh, as one size fits all. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Hello. 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 Um, I'd say I'm fun and energetic, and probably positive. I feel like. I'm definitely an optimist and I'm amazing. It's <laughs> freaking awesome. <laughs> Sorry. I am um, probably the more awkward one of us, more of an introvert, so yeah, she's the yin and I'm the yang. Can you tell me how, how this all started? How did, how did oh this goodness, start? I totally can. Actually, I went to New York and to the Smithsonian Museum mm. um, and they had these exact Native American images that I had seen in my home, but the actual photos, and I was like, man, I should do something like that for Māori people. Then I got back from New York, and I was broke, so I did nothing about it. I had to get a job, and, and then found this bad boy at an op shop, um, and gave it a couple of other things. My mum whipped up some kōrōwai, and yeah, and so, Bob, your uncle. I rang my sister-in-law, she had no idea, she hadn't done it before or she'd only seen some of the mock images I'd done, but she is a photographer and I am not. <laughs> and I was like, hey, I've got this real cool idea. She'd never done a, um, a portrait before. She wasn't even a portrait photographer, she was like a landscape photographer. Right? And then, um, so the first portrait, Soldier's Road portrait we ever did together was actually the first customer. <laughs> we ever had. Which is a very, like, um, I think a very Kiwi Māori attitude, like, oh, we'll give it a crack, we'll give it a go. And we were charging $10 a picture. And then it ended up being huge. So we, yeah, we did 30. Yeah, I think close to 30. So on the first day of ever doing Soldiers Road, the idea, we did 40 portrait. So, so how did she stay organised? She stays with me. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, we'll go into a room and I'll be like, We'll pick up. Oh, a butterfly. Wait, or I'll be like, has anybody seen my sour worms? And like, totally forget my wallet and phone. And then V will be like, I've got your I wallet and phone in my, in my bag. bag. Yeah, and I'm like, thanks, V. So I'm like a crazy tornado, and V like calmly goes and like <laughs> cleans up all the mess. <laughs> Once a month, I always think, I'm going to get a normal job. <laughs> uh, this is too hard, or um, I need some regular income, or whatever. You what know. keeps it going? People, people like you, people like the people that come and we meet. Um, oh, I've been waiting for a whole year to save up to come and come and get a portrait, or I really wanted one for my nanny before she passes away, and we think like, yeah, yeah, yeah we're going to have to Gonna have to keep going at it. This is <laughs> this is something that we oh, we'll, we'll, we'll do it. We're gonna do it. Be grateful, vibes of gratitude and energy of gratitude you end up always getting back as well. It's a great way to um, attract the type of things that you want by being grateful. Show gratitude. Tip number two, be a yes man or woman. Having a give it a go attitude can um, lead to great success when you're stepping outside your comfort zone. Tip number three, Prepare to hustle. Having your own business isn't easy. Most of the really exciting stuff happens because you hustle hard. Anything worthwhile takes a bit of grind. If it's not hard to get, it's probably not cool. Tip number four, be kind. You catch more flies with honey than with vinegar. You don't have to be hard to be successful. 
Tip number five is be yourself. Be the most authentic version of you in whatever form that is. Even if somebody else says that they don't like it, it doesn't matter because there's no one else that's as good at being you as you are. Be yourself and then you attract the most relevant things that will happen. And tip number six, don't compromise your values. Hold on to what you believe in and um, make sure that everything works around those. That's how we're so successful. <laughs> not. I'm so not grateful, <laughs> Nigel. <laughs>